minutes in case anyone decides to come and join in. But we have a walk around and say hello to my little friends. Wow. That's my little friend. Ooh, baby. That should be fun. That should definitely be fun. <sighs> but let's have a stroll around and look what's going on in the workshop just while we wait. <sighs> it's a Fiat Dino, which we've uh, done a heap of rewiring on. Had a left to right hand conversion as well, which Sam uh, completely modified that entire dashboard for it. So that's pretty cool. And redid all the wiring and everything too. So very fun. And Mr. Monsieur Lago. This one will be uh, another video coming up soon. This was a bit of a, um, <clears throat> a mess to say it nicely. But um, yep, that one's, that one's definitely underway. Well and truly. Oh, I gotta love that nice sheathing. What else? These guys are all working on a 200 series at the moment. Oh, there's only one, there's not 200 of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. You need your eyes checked. Or your T's or even your lowercase J's. <laughs> lowercase J. <laughs> that's, that's oh, wow. Oh wow. oh, wow. Oh, wow. Lowercase J's. Oh, wow. Too. <laughs> so now this is a constant thing, right? Oh, yeah. I'm him and his jokes, you get a lot of. They're hilariously gross. No, they're not. Don't give it. He See, this is the problem that he lets it happen. And no, he. I don't. He does it on his own, and I, I, I do maybe encourage it a little Exactly. Bit. You encourage it. That's the problem. Not a problem. It's hilarious. Oh, God. Anyway. So this thing's actually got uh, a shit ton of deadening in it. So this had all four doors whole roof lining has been out and the entire roof's been done so that was a pretty killer one um, another cool car that we've just had come in lovely beautiful 930 Porsche Turbo so this one's getting a um, bunch of bits and pieces mm, yummy uh, definitely gonna do something about <clears throat> that uh, but we've got a new Sony RSX um, G9 to, to go in there as well, a uh, little M5 Helix DSP or a match DSP, so that'll be cool. Other than that, what else we got? The GTR, the five-cylinder RB21 GTR currently, and uh, an epic little Alpha 105, which I'm uh, in the middle of doing a whole bunch of uh, wiring on. This has been a pretty epic bit of build, this one. Such a wicked car. So it has a uh, pretty well fresh wiring loom all run through it. So I'm just going through, pinning out everything, making sure it all works and all of that fun stuff. Pretty cool little tank in there with a little sump basically. So that's pretty sweet. <sighs> That's a very cool little car. Very cool little car indeed. Um, GDSR, getting all of the lights in it. And Sam's old XR Falcon, mind all of the, the stuff around while we're in construction. But yes, this is a big build as well. This one will now actually be getting a uh, Heltec Nexus in it too, so that's going to be cool. Be the first one of those I've ever done. But this is uh, getting a lot of cool, cool stuff. So it's going fly-by-wire. It is a 351, but um, yep, it is now going fly-by-wire. You can see the motor on the front there. Um, it's got a capped-off dizzy, so we can do um, crank and uh, cam angle. So that is going to be a very, very cool setup. Anyway, 
So apart from that, I'm going to glance up here, why not? This will be our fanciness. It's all coming along very slowly, but surely. Yes, and more mess. <laughs> anyway, well, look, there's a couple of people are in there watching now, so you know what? I think it, it's about time to pull this big bastard out. So, All right. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, you can. <laughs> All right, let me get a kniff. He's getting a kniff. <laughs> hey, Jay. Are you excited? No. Not at all. Um, this is the cameraman reporting that I think he might be a little excited here. Can't be too sure. Don't know what you're talking about. No, no. Why would I be excited? Oh, now I don't know. How long have you been waiting now? Oh, not that long. No. But I think you'll find that we are the first people in the world, mm. the world, <laughs> to actually get our hands on these. So, um, it's a bit exciting. Big exciting. Well, Gaishia subs are absolutely beautiful. They are. <laughs> I think it's a um, a Legacia sub. You Just reckon? a hunch. No. You reckon? Possibly. <gasps> oh, Stormy, Stormy Young is ready to see it. We are too. We are so excited. Yes, people ready? People are ready. People are ready. All right. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a tremendous amount of work. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the inverted surround. It's just. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't get it out. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that is what she said. Oh, that's a lot of sun. That is a trick. So, for. We need a banana for scale. Uh, crew, can we get a banana? <laughs> How's, how about my head? Is that, is that enough for scale? <laughs> maybe, possibly? <laughs> I would say maybe, yeah. Oh, oh that is... Oh, baby. Oh, that is a large boy. Look at that magnet. <laughs> <laughs> now, I... I don't think, now someone can correct me on this because I don't even know whether there's ever been a proper SQ-18 that can do shit like this one can, uh, ever. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen anything. Oh no, I just rolled up my hybrid sticker. Oh, what? Oh. I... It's all right, I saved it. Oh, you're lucky. I saved yes. it, it's good. I think we have others anyway, but. I've got more. Yeah. I do have more. Still. Oh, look at you. Wow. That's... That's some serious bit of woof. <laughs> look at the venting for the coil. It's just all kinds of, you know... <laughs> heavy, yeah, that's going to be some fun. Heavy is that? So that's like an inch and a half of surround. Yeah, thereabouts. Holy God. Thereabouts. I don't even want to know. Well, actually, I do want to know what the um, the, the X-Max is. But that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm going to guess that it's pretty stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume it's pretty pretty enormous because that, that is a whole lot of surround. That's a whole lot of surround. Yeah. Oh, wow. That basket's beautiful. Oh, man. That's just so nice. What's the um? What, oh yeah, look at look at the tinsel leads as well. Everything's been done super nicely. Wow. Even the powder coat on the basket. Yeah, that's just super super mega clean. Wow. Yum yum yum. 
nice big old vent there as well in the motor. Yep. Mm. This thing is going to make some boogie. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so what setup are you probably going to run this in, if any? Um, I'll probably end up going sealed with it. Um, I think temporarily I'm probably going to make a box for it and put it in my nugget currently because I need to hear this thing like yeah. sooner rather than later. Um, and that be the case, I'm probably going to put it in a ported enclosure because why not? Yeah. Why not? Would you consider um, an, uh, an infinite baffle? Um, yes, I would. But again, the car, just depending on, I mean, I've got no problem cutting the wheel well out of my nugget, but I'm not going to go to the extent on that car because this is for the next car. Yeah. This will go in the, in the Audi. In the Audi. In the Audi. But, um. Okay. And yes. do, you, do you think that these subs would be suitable for an infinite baffle? Yeah, oh, absolutely. They do infinite baffle like a boss. Like okay. they are actually like designed to do infinite baffles. So okay. they, not a problem whatsoever. Okay. Um, most oh, yeah. people have done it with the 15s, um, even in the old Claris range. So in the Legacias, they're just more power handling more than anything else. Yeah, just a way bigger, better Claris. Just a bigger, better Claris, yeah, pretty mm. much. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, I do have a, a, a Helix C1 sitting there that I will run this big bitch off. Um, so that in a ported box should be reasonably efficient anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, that should be pretty killer. I love how sort of just basic Flat. and just nice. Yeah, simple. These. They don't go for anything fancy. It's no. not... These are a lot more jewellery than what a Claris woofer was because obviously, um, you know, that's been a big step up yeah. from where they were. Um, so the magnets themselves are a lot nicer. Everything about them is a lot nicer. They are just... They're just beautiful. It's just mm, porn. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did that. And what's the power rating on these? What's I have handling? zero idea. Okay. So. Um, unfortunately, because these are so fresh, we have to Don't worry about them. They can, they can wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So awesome. All right. Well, um, that, that is, oh, we've got a hello from Germany. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's awesome. No, absolutely love that thing. I what? cannot wait to actually get some power into it and see what see what she'll do. Absolutely. It's going to bug E. Yeah, the All spider right. on this looks enormous too. I know. It's, yeah, I legitimately, I can't wait to actually get some specs on the thing because I don't know what the actual rated power handling is, but there is no question about the fact that you can 10, 10 million? Just 10? <laughs> Apparently it's just 10. Um, but yeah, as soon as I get some more specs on these things, which will probably come before I actually start building it, um, I'll lay them out. But I mean, the plan is uh, to run two Helix C1s on it. So that should be more than enough juice. And I'll strap those big bitches together and make all the noise. But um, thanks for uh, hanging out and watching me get this uh, big bastard out of the box. I, um, I definitely cannot wait to hear some doofs. But <sighs> thanks for watching guys. I'll uh, see you very soon. And until then, stay good. I've got a Patreon now if you want to come and follow along and help me out. But otherwise, come subscribe, like it and uh, comment and tell me what you think of this thing. See you next time. Bye.